right, big spot here for the former undisputed UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya, and he's not too emotionally attached to a lot of these results. I expect a big effort out of him here tonight. You know, John, I love that you teed it up that way because I was just thinking that for a guy that seemed to be on a rocket ship to the moon, becoming a middleweight champion, he handles adversity as well as anyone I've ever seen. When he lost to Jan Bohovic when he tried to become double champion, still even keel. When he lost his championship, even keel. I believe that ability will allow for him to work his way back to a championship opportunity where I expect him to be very competitive and possibly earn himself the belt back. And skill for skill, there are a lot of people that still believe he's the best middleweight in the world. A lot of the elite 185 pounders believe that Izzy and not necessarily Pereira represent the toughest matchup for them. We'll see how Adesanya fares in this critical matchup here tonight. So all eyes are on Habib Nurmagomedov. Daniel, as your former teammate, makes his return to competition here tonight. A lot of us felt like this moment would not materialize. He's chasing 30-0 now. He's chasing 30-0. I mean, he's one of the only guys to get out of this thing clean. Nobody goes undefeated unless your name is Habib Nurmagomedov. The guy has fought the best. He is a guy that lets you know what his intentions are, and he goes out there and he works the game plan. He's going to get in your face. He's going to try to overwhelm you with his wrestling. And you look at his boy, Hasbulla, in the corner. Habib Nurmagomedov looking for a big night. The Dagestani social media legend, Hasbulla Magomedov, in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. We are set to go for our main event of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> champion fighting out of the red corner ladies and gentlemen presenting the reigning defending ufc welterweight champion of the world habib the eagle nurmagomedov herb dean third man in the octagon tonight well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent today. All right, so there it is. The takedown is there on the first attempt. Wrestling's the best base for mixed martial arts. I didn't wrestle, but that is what I believe, and the kickboxer is not at all where he wants to be early in this fight. As a wrestler myself, you dig into these fights, and you think this is exactly... Gotta watch his neck. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Adesanya's pass is denied. That was a slick transition. Cra 
crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. You can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Nurmago Medov's in half guard. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Khabib's looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loved. Yeah, the crowd loves. A huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice body shot. Under a minute to go. In what has been a wild round one. He's got him right here. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. All right, again, he shoots for a takedown here and unable to get it. So the takedown defense reigns supreme yet again. The takedown defense is holding up, Johnny Boy. Great job of keeping his feet going backwards, sprawling, dropping his hips, and anticipating the shots coming. Very well done. Right. Horn sounds for the end of stop, round stop. one. Right, take a deep breath and relax. You're okay. Your head's a little buzzed. You got knocked down. That's not a problem. This round, we're going to get it back. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? Second it. round underway. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Now he gets nice shot there by the jail. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Well, no problem getting inside to the oh. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to be dividends later in the fight. This goes upstairs for an elbow. He passes the half. Well, the ground and pound is there. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, right into Mount. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it off. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. 90 seconds now to go round two. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. This is a terrible position. A 
Out of a minute to go. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. Oh, another strike lands from the top. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard. Oh, looks like he's setting up for a finish here. Oh, oh. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? You ready? Do it. Round three of a possible five. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Takedown defense has held up thus far. Separation. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Oh, is he putting it all together tonight? Another huge kick lands. Lunges forward with a left there. Attempts the front kick there. So now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Just oh, he's in real trouble now. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. <laughs> Takedown defense holds up. Marco Medov swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. being applied here as he works out of side control. Khabib's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Meadow. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, he's got his back now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. In position for a submission attempt here. Ooh, that looks wicked. Seconds of round three. Right to the neon belly. Right. That's three right. rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. 
you don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough Ready, that fight. your chin is. Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Sonia gets up, he is back on the feet here. Oh, wow! Nice judo toss for him there. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. Israel Adesanya's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite groove. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Oh, he to stop it every row. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after party. <laughs> All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 59 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Israel the last